Hey guys, Wardrick here coming at you with another Orcs Must Die 5 Skull and High Scoring Guide for Nightmare. Today we're going to take on the very first of the stages, Hallway. Now I don't doubt your ability to 5 Skull this, but for the sake of completion of the series we're going to do it and get it out of the way because it's nice and quick. And on top of that, this is a high score run, so for me for a long time this was a hard stage to break 100,000 on. I got it earlier today actually. You know, they recorded this. I'm basically using Hungry Hungry Hippo's 12x layout. Uh, for, for me, a lot of it comes down to the last wave uh, and a lot of boom barrels. Uh, I, I don't actually manage to pop off any 12x's, or at least I didn't in my my other run. Mostly because I do spend all of my extra money in wave 3 on boom barrels instead of getting the archers. It's probably not the most effective run, but it'll it'll break a hundred thousand if you do it right. Okay, I'm doing pretty terribly, but we'll see if we can turn this around, though. Double up on the lightning, just in case, uh... Just in case anything pops through. I always do so much worse when I'm recording. Now, with stuff like this, whether it's a normal 2x4 or a strategy like this, you really do want to wait till they get to your rear traps, whether it's tar behind a barricade or, you know, the steam traps and the tar here. It, it'll get you that extra combo point if you do it right. Of course, I'm doing so terribly that it doesn't justify an extra you know, it's a poor explanation. Now, an armored ogre will take six to take them. I'm going to wait for him to get nice and close and then blow him to high health once he's got everything on him. Now from here on out, even though I should probably upgrade my archers, I am going to focus on boom barreling groups of orcs. I can usually pop a 9 or 2, as well as a ton of 8s and 7s, although I'm not doing so well here. I'm doing really bad. What the hell's wrong with me today? I swear, every time I record, I pull off combos worse. Okay, well, that could have gone worse. I saw a couple 8s. No additional 9s, though, and I only got a 9 on the over. So, we'll see if we broke 100. Almost. Uh, it's close enough. Uh, this is not the optimal strategy for this stage by any means, so... Don't take it as gospel. But, it, it would put you fairly high. And again, if you can pop off a couple times nines with those boom barrels, you'll do well. One thing to keep in mind, though, is the boom barrels will transfer whatever combo points you put on them. So if you weapon switch the boom barrel, it'll explode onto everybody else. At least I think it does. I'm going to include a link in the description to Rogatin's boom charging video, which is where I picked the trick up from. Anyhow, that's all I got for now. Wardrake signing off. I will talk to you guys later.